identity and access management is no longer relegated uh, to an internal control or process. Uh, we now have processes that may originate inside of the organization and policies that originate inside of the organization, but they need to be enforced and applied to systems that live well outside the doors or means of uh, a traditional you know, data center or, or organization's own assets. Uh, as well, we're starting to see the emergence of identity and access management itself as a cloud-based service. Uh, and the concept that if we're looking to manage and uh, uh, present policy and control around extranet resources such as software as a service and social networking sites and mobile devices and partner relationships, perhaps the IAM infrastructure itself belongs in the cloud. So IBM and Lighthouse have a solution in the IAM as a service space that affords mid-market organizations to acquire uh, a myriad of different identity and access management technologies um, in three major areas of service. Identity management, uh, which is concerned with uh, topics like user provisioning or role and entitlement governance. Web access management, which is concerned with unified single sign-on, authentication and authorization around web resources and web assets, and federation, um, whether you're federating with a private you know, third party or a cloud service. Um, acquiring these types of uh, best-of-breed technologies in the IBM Tivoli Identity and Access Management stack as a service affords a mid-market organization many of the benefits that we mentioned on the previous slide, including up to 60% lower cost of ownership, expediting delivery uh, with 75% you know, uh, of the schedule eliminated, compliance on demand, and the ability to predictively uh, forecast costs. So we're seeing clients now who are benefiting in numerous ways. Organizations that once had little or no strategy around identity and access management uh, in the mid-market space, anywhere as small as an organization with a few hundred users or employees or extranet users, all the way up through larger mid-market organizations with tens of thousands of users, whether they're internal or potentially extranet users like clients or business partners. Um, a number of the, the areas that we're seeing benefits include organizations that uh, had to adopt a strategy for user provisioning. Uh, they required a way to uh, look at uh, visibility to authoritative entitlements and uh, understand who had access to what types of applications and autonomously put in place business policies that would provision applications. Uh, we're also seeing organizations in the mid-market starting to take heavy advantage of federation technologies, uh, specifically because of that large adoption rate in the mid-market with SaaS, uh, we're seeing uh, a, a very uh, popular uptick in uh, the mid-market's ability to leverage federation technologies for single sign-on as well as provisioning uh, SaaS applications as well.